It is the crisis hiding in plain sight, often ignored or passed by. Britain's homeless population has reached record levels. Ben's been sleeping rough on London streets since he spiralled into drug use 15 years ago. Do you notice more people on the street? There is a hell of a lot more coming out here and it's just, it's every day, it's getting worse. I mean, and there's just nothing being done about it. There's just absolute jack, there's nothing. 200 miles north on the rain-soaked pavements of Manchester, it's the same story. There's no way out for rough sleepers like Dave. Because I'm not going anywhere, I live, I can't get a job. That is the only thing stopping me from getting a job. It's from where I live. The most recent figures show more than 4,700 people a night sleeping rough on England's streets. That's up 169% compared to when the numbers were first recorded in 2010 and only around 1,700 people were sleeping rough. Well, there's a terrible lack of affordable housing in London. Um, that's one thing. There's also welfare cuts, which have meant that housing benefit just hasn't kept pace with the cost of renting accommodation. These figures show that a quarter of rough sleepers are here in London, but charities are warning that the true picture may be far, far worse, that this may just be the tip of the iceberg. The government refused to give an interview about this, but in a statement today claimed it's providing an extra billion pounds of funding to tackle rough sleeping. But for people like Ben, every night here is an ordeal. I've started getting the mentality now that every day that I wake up, it's just another day closer to death. If I, if, if I didn't wake up tomorrow, sometimes I think it'd be a blessing, because then I wouldn't have to do another 24 hours of this. It's, it's horrible just one of the thousands of people who feel the system has failed them, who are preparing to bed down on Britain's streets once again. Dan Rivers, ITV News.